This is Eugene Pandrukovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba CB35 B3340 laptop Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace cracked screen on a Toshiba CB35 B3340. Uh, this will also work on the B3330 version, and I'll explain the difference right now. There are several flavors of this Chromebook. There's the A series, which is the older one, CB35-A with some numbers, and then there's the B series. The A series used a different type of screen than the B series. We do have another video for the A series if you want to see that. Okay, let's go to the B series. There's the 3330 and the 3340. Uh, the 3330 uses a standard definition screen and the 3340 uses a full HD screen. Otherwise, the laptops or Chromebooks are almost identical and the procedure is almost identical. I will show you the differences during the procedure. Okay, next, how to identify the right model. The label is on the bottom, so you flip the laptop over, and on the bottom there's a label. Let's take a look, and it says CB35B3340 Chromebook 2. Okay, next let's go over the tools we're going to use for this. We're not going to use all the tools, but I'll show you the tools that are included with the toolkit. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate screws and to pry open things and to remove adhesive tape. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end and that's to remove screw covers and lift up adhesive tape. And finally, we have a metal spudger, and that's to pry the bezel open or to pry other things open. So we probably won't use this one in this procedure, but it is included with the toolkit. So before we start, you can't remove the battery, but we want to make sure that the Chromebook is off. Sometimes you accidentally press the on button, and if it is on, you either turn off using the operating system or do a long press of the power button and it turns off. When the screen is dark, that means the laptop is off. If by accident you turn on doing procedure, just turn it off again. Okay, next. The first step we want to do is to remove these two screws at the bottom hidden by screw covers to remove the screen bezel. So we want to remove the screw covers and we use our hobby knife to find a corner of the screw covers and lift it out. And what I like to do is attach them to the screen bezel so we don't lose them. And the same thing on the other side. So find a good place to reach in and lift up the screw cover and just attach it to the screen bezel so you don't lose it. Okay, and where did it go? Okay, it is some. Oh, it's still on my finger. Okay, yeah. this one's a bit tricky, but we finally got it. Okay, next, what we want to do is to remove the two screws at the bottom. Okay, so one and two. So these are the only two screws that we need to remove during the procedure so we don't need to worry about keeping track. And next we want to snap off the screen bezel. What we want to do is put our fingertips or fingernails on the edge of the bezel inside the screen, inside on the inside edge of the screen bezel and then lift up and out and then you hear snapping sounds, that means the bezel is snapping off. And we go around the screen like this. And then at the bottom we have to do something different. Um, 
there's uh, some plastic tabs that are catching the bottom of the screen so it can be a little bit tricky to lift it up remove the screen bezel so what we want to do is put our finger and run our finger along the bottom of the screen and then tilt the bezel forward and then remove it okay next step is removing the screen this is where the difference between the standard HD and the full HD screen comes into so for the standard HD there's gonna be two metal tabs at the top and two metal tabs at the bottom secured by screws and you can see the screw holes over here that are empty so what you want to do is use a screwdriver to remove four screws two at the top and two at the bottom right here to remove to separate the screen from the screen assembly for the full HD version there is no tabs the screen is just mounted inside the screen assembly without the screws there is some light adhesive at the top so when we grab it the screen with our fingers we hear some adhesive but it's very light so it can be easily removed and then gently lift up the screen and put it down when you put the screen down avoid the power button so that the screen does not turn on okay next step is to remove this connector and it's secured by some adhesive tape and we used our hobby knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and then lift up the adhesive tape and then grab the back of the connector making sure the power is not on and just pull the connector back like so I'm going to reconnect the connector to show, show, show you how it looks like when you reconnect the connector you'll feel but not hear two clicks let's get a close up of the connection when pause the video right here when it's a properly connected connection there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other okay and let's again remove the connector okay let's take a look at this screen this particular screen is a 13.3 inch full HD screen with an EDP connector that's EDP means it's a 30 pin connector and uh, this full HD screen has no mounting tabs at the top at the bottom the metal tabs the standard HD screen will have mounting tabs so let's take a look at the part number the part number that you need is LP 133 WF 2 SP A1 if you do have a standard HD if you have a B3330 it's going to be N 133 BGE dash EAB that would be the part number so and for the older version for the A series of the Toshiba Chromebook 13.3 inch this is going to have a different connector it's going to have a bigger 40 pin connector so you cannot put a screen from the third a series into the b series and vice versa what you can do is is if you have a full hd version of the laptop like this one you can put in a standard hd edp screen and it'll work perfectly fine so i do not know if you can take a standard HD version put a full HD screen I have not tested that but I know it can go the other way around okay uh, you can as of uh, late October 2015 you can order this screen from us from screen surgeons and what you get with screens from us is this exact same toolkit that I'm using in this video it comes for free with the screen we have free email technical support and two-year warranty against defects also we ship for free in the United States using priority mail so you'll get your screen in two or three days and if you live outside of the United States we can ship to most countries around the world just uh, go through a standard checkout procedure and select your country finally uh, this screen particular screen or in this particular laptop is used by many school districts around the country and we specialize in bulk purchases by school districts we do give volume discounts and we do extra support and we take purchase orders from school districts so uh, if you work for a school district um, 
on their website, both on the catalog and on the main website, there will be a link at the very top that says schools or school districts. Just click that link and um, there will be a form for you to fill out or send us an email so we can get things started. If you're just a regular customer, a retail customer, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out and that will guide you to find the right screen online and just follow the regular checkout procedure. Okay, once you do get the right screen, please make sure that it looks like the old screen and that um, the connection is the same. And then what you do is uh, reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in into the screen assembly. Then if it's a standard HD screen, put two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on, just bring it down and snap it back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and put the screw covers in and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.